G'day guys, here it is, the finished product. This is part two of the Sammy Sage um, riser modification and I'm really happy how it came out. So uh, as I explained yesterday in the video, I sanded that down, uh, the rough, the, the hard edges on the uh, riser to round them off and make them a little bit more uh, pleasing to, um, to, to handle, to, to hold the, the, the bow in your hand. And also just, um, it, it gives it a, a, a much more um, expensive look. It really looks like a, a nicer riser um compared to the um just uh, um sharp edged uh riser that that, that uh, you uh unpack from the box and i gotta tell you it feels really nice in the hand but also another thing i did i uh, sanded in these grooves just a little bit more just so to get my fingers to sit in there just the way i like it so what i did was i sanded this one a little bit more i focused on there sanded every time i sanded a bit then i'd stick my hand and hold the riser and see how it felt and also on the other side as well, where this part of the finger could sit in that groove as well. And it, and it just made it a much more comfortable riser for, for me, for, for, my, um, for my hand. And that's something that you can do. It's really easy to do. Um, also, the sanding of this whole bow, like I said yesterday, it took probably, um, you know, 15 minutes it took with the um, little, orb, orb, little hand sander. You know, those little cheap hand sanders that you get um, just to take down the sharp edges. And then I finished it off by hand and that took about an hour. So an hour and 15 minutes it was completely finished um, going through the grit. So I used 80 grit, then I went to 120 grit and 250 grit and, uh, and just to smooth it all out and uh, it came out really nice. Now, um, I didn't go off the original finish. So the original finish would have been just a, a, a matte finish over the top or a satin finish over the top and it would have brought out the original uh, colours. But I decided to go off a different um, finish. So I went with ma a mahogany finish, and uh, the, the, I, I'm absolutely loving how that uh, colour looks on on this riser. I'll show you what I used here. I used the Feast and Watson, um, and it, what it is here, it's a um, a proof tint. So it's 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 a stain, but it's a tint with um it, it's got like a spirits in it, so it dries really quick, and it is so easy to do. Just make sure you use gloves. And I I got an old sock and I stuck my hand in it and um, put a finger um, to it and I just I shook the bottle first and I just tipped a little bit onto my finger and I rubbed it on the riser and that did half of the riser then I did another little one like that and it finished it off and then it was enough to just go over the whole thing um, top to bottom I didn't keep adding more and more um, obviously the more you add the darker it's going to get so um, one one coat was sufficient um, for, for, for the look that I was after. And the thing with this proof tint is what it does is it, it allows the grains of the wood to come through. So um, you're not losing the, uh, that beautiful wood, um, you know, all, all the wood um, um, little aspects that, that, that you have in your wood and um, all the grains and everything. It looks really nice. So um, that, that's, what I, I, that's what I wanted, so specifically wanted. And then I finished it with this Cabot's... Um, uh, matte finish and uh, I didn't go with the the uh, satin finish because I've used satin before and it leaves like a uh, like a mi milky sort of like a satin like a milky um, finish on it and I don't like that I, I didn't want that I wanted just a straightforward wood finish on it and, and I'm really happy how it came out so um yeah so I I'm really looking forward to taking this bow out and shooting it um, now that I've got that the the, the hand grip uh, the way I like it and uh, it should, should shoot really, really nicely. I'm really happy with this, uh, how the, this bow has come out. And all in all, you know, for an hour and, um, you know, hour and, and 15 minutes of work, um, and then, you know, that, that took, that took, you know, 15 minutes and it was done. So, you know, an hour and 15 minutes one day, 15 minutes the next day, and I got a beautiful looking riser there and I'm really happy with the finish. And I've got a, you know, a Samic Sage, different from everyone else's, but more, more um, aesthetically pleasing to me. That, that's what I was after. I, I didn't like, like I said, the really sharp edges, um, unfinished edges. So um, there you go. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you later.